Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes you want to copy the effect of an external filter or something from a plugin which changes the colours and then be able to adjust it and play with it. So we're going to have a go at that. This can take a little bit of time but you need to do it in detail. So what we'll do is we'll go to this one here. Let's do a Control J to duplicate the layer. Then we'll go to Filters, Plugins, New Collection and the Color Effects Pro. And in this we're going to go to the Film Effects Faded here, which we've got here. Things like brightness and contrast, saturation, haze, we need to turn all these down to neutral because we can't copy those effects from the final filter. So we need to neutralise it. And the key thing we're putting in here is film type, which here does a colour change like these things here. So let's just take the number one there. And we'll make sure that even things like this are all set to zero. Right, now then, we'll take that and say OK on that. Because what we're going to do is convert the colours using luminosity and curves. So now we've got a copy of that. But what we want to do is to be able to map that onto a curve. So we're going to start off, we're going to create a new image here. We'll do a landscape format and create that. Put on a layer. So add pixel layer. Go to a gradient and we want to make sure the snapping's on so we can get to the edge there cleanly and across to the edge there. Make that from white to black if necessary. Go up here to change this. Now then we want to put steps into this. So we go to the posterize and set 11 steps. And that's because we want to go from 0 to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and so on because this goes 0 to 1. We'll merge that in. Now we'll hit Control J to duplicate this and one of these we're going to apply that filter again. So filters, plugin, new collection, color effects pro. And this will go back and it will keep the settings we had with it last time. So everything here is set to neutral except for the film type here. And then we've got this step here of each of the points along here. That's okay. That's great. This is what we want. Right. So we want to create that and turn that off. Go back to original one here and put on curves. So you want a curves which is going to create that colour profile. To do that we want to get down to the red, green and blue. So the, for example the red and so on. We want to be able to adjust this. So we need to put, change this up here and down and so on to start to create that. So we need to go back to the original one here and map the reds, greens and blues across this. So for this we're going to need View, Studio and the Info Panel. And we'll use the sample here so we can drag from here into the middle of that one there to get that colour. And that's red, green and blue is 1, 1 and 2. And this is on the scale from 0 to 255. So what we need is a spreadsheet and set up like this. So this is the steps along there, 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, which is along the bottom of the curves. And then we want the reds, greens and blues. This is 0 to 255. We'll do a conversion from 0 to 1. So that first one here was 1, 1, 2. So we just put that there, 1, 1 and 2. And then we're going to do that, say, to the next one here. Move that along here and if we use the move tool when we go over there we ch cursor change so I can move it along so that's 23, 31 and 41. So 23, 31 and 41. And the next one 
here is 68, 73 and 85. So it's 68, 73 and 85. And so on down, which I'll do in a moment. But what we want to also to be able to do is to convert this from a 0 to 255 scale to a 0 to 1 scale. So all I do is go to one of those here, say equals, then select that one there, divided by 255. And now I take that, control C to copy it, go down to the whole range and paste it. And it pastes the formula in. And to get it three decimal places, right click, format cells, number and decimal places three. So right, I'm going to put you on pause and put the rest in now. Right, there we go. We've filled in that table there by going across each of these and taking the red, green and blue values. Notice, by the way, with this, when I'm moving across here, this colour should all be the same. But see, there's a slight change in it when I go across one of these. That means there's an additional effect being pulled into this. We turn down all the things like contrast and brightness, which could affect this. But there is some, some other thing. So it's going to be an approximation. So it means when you put the, the point on that, try and make it central. OK, now then we want to create curves. And we're going to do that on the other one down here. So go to there, go here, start the curves again. And we're going to put points in this in the red, green and blue. So we go to the red one, go to the zero point there. X is zero and Y is. So we go back to the other one here. So this is now in the 0 to 1 conversion. So red. 0 0.004. So point oh oh four. And that has nudged it just a bit. Then we go to the point one, so let's type point one. And we go to the Y and the point one here is going to be point oh nine oh. Point oh nine oh. Then we go to the next one here, which is point two and switch down to here, and that's going to be 0.267. See, now this is pushing this up here, so it's changing shape. And you can see the colours changing back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for the red, green and blue. So we're going to get three different curves based on the values here for the red, green and blue across points from 0 to 1. So I'll be back with you in a moment. So there we go. There's our three curves, the red, green and blue. And they are copied from these here that we've created from the RGB here, not 255. Now it's not to 1 to fit the positions on curves, which goes from 0 to 1. And if you want to check it and compare it with the other one to see how accurate we've been, let's try turning it on and off. So the top one's there. That's the original. That's the one underneath. It's pretty close. If we want to be really close, really check that, we go to the top one there and change the blend mode to difference. And there you can see it is mostly the same, but notice down here there are slight differences, which means within the bands there's some changing going on. So there was an extra effect in there, but we have very, very largely captured it. So to apply that to a picture, we simply go to the curves there, control C to copy it, go back to our original, turn off the tweaked one, go to the very original and control V paste in the curves. And there's the adjustment there. Let's put that as a child so that when we turn the top layer on, that's the filter applied there. That's the effect. So that's a slight difference to it, but that is because there's something additional going on apart from just the luminosity to colour capture, the curves of adjustment effectively. And we can always, of course, go to the curves here and play around with this. So I can just say go to the, say, green curve and say that's a little bit too much green at the top here. Let's just pull this down slightly here. 
and you can play with any of these points here. You can even say that point is probably going to be the same as these. I'll right click it and the position doesn't change. It's a bit easier to tweak it. So we can bring things down maybe there a bit. Take out some intermediate points to let it go a bit more naturally. And we can then, that means one point here will make a, a wider level curve. And then we can see, we can compare that with the original and so on. So there we go. That's the way that you can capture an external filter based just on luminosity to colour adjustment and then use it and tweak it and change it to your heart's content. Hope that was interesting. I know a bit more complex than usual, but I hope it's okay for you. And thank you very much for watching.